In the late 80s, Pa Carey replaced Leonard Enright at fullback for Limerick and then part of the scene. But he's back under Eamon Cregan as replacement for Mike Nash. At least Mike's brother Declan is back at corner back, while there's no room in the starting 15 for Kieran Carey. 21 year old Clement Smith is included at left half back. Shane O'Neill is in midfield. The Moran brothers are on the half forward line. Well, it'll be interesting to see how Gary Kirby does at full forward. Well, much has been made of the fact that Clare's Anthony Daly has been selected to play at left corner back. However, in the corresponding game last March, he also wore the number four jersey. In the very slight reshuffle, Frank Lowen moves to wing back, while Ollie Baker is replaced by mi in midfield by Christy Chaplin. And in the forwards, opportunity knocks for Brian Quinn at full forward, Alan Markham to his left, and just behind that pair, watch out for Fergal Hagerty, who's been named on the 40, with David Ford on his left. All the aforementioned, of course, are aware that PJ O'Connell and Connor Clancy are back in training, and maybe soon back in contention, not to mention the Sparrow O'Loughlin. Ger Harrington getting the match underway. This eagerly awaited clash between the All Ireland champions and the National League champions. Mike Galligan here, first opportunity at left half forward. This is stopped by Brian Lowe and Anthony Daly saying, Leave it there for me. Claire playing into the goal on our right. Now the Limerick back's been asked some questions of. That was good work there by Brian Quinn. That's the inside. Here's Markham. Oh, that is the side netting. Markham getting his first chance. <laughs> Sean McMahon coming out to try and bat that one away for Clare. Back by Shane O'Neill. Brian Lowen coming across here to clear the line. Doing so expertly. Down to Colin Lynch who stepped out over the sideline. Line ball to Limerick. Well, there's plenty of encouragement for Mike Gallagher to try and put over the first point of the match here. Connected really well. And TJ Ryan keeps it in play. And the referee is in very quickly, and that's a penalty. This is the uh, move that led to the penalty. It was very good play indeed by the corner forward, and then felled by Anthony Daly. Almost four minutes gone. He goes for it. wonderfully hit by Gary Kirby watch as he hit it to the right there towards Anthony Daly the goalkeeper advanced but that got right in there into the corner that's James Moran nicely forward there and here comes Barry Foley very good work here by Foley after the penalty goal and it's two goals to nil the Limerick forwards produced a wonderful move for Barry Foley went off the keeper stick but he couldn't deflect it out David Ford getting onto it neatly inside towards the man in the corner there who was Niall Gilligan back it goes to Park Carey nicely out to Clement Smith this for TJ Ryan, straight in front of the goal, an easy scoring chance, and he makes the most of it. His first point, the man who was hauled down for the first goal from the penalty, and it's 2-2 to a point. It's not going his way so far, but there's still plenty of time for Joe Lockman. Ryan Lowen, coming to collect, a fine clearance by Lowen, down into the heart of the Limerick defence. Gilligan advancing. By Nash momentarily. A great block down by Declan Nash. Next is Dave Clark. On to Mark Foley. Some great defending by both teams. But this time it's Limerick in the attack. Gary Kirby's shot. And that's gone over for his third point. It's been an excellent first half for Limerick. Still five minutes to go to the break. But a new confidence in the side this season, you feel. Sean McMahon, a huge one down. Everybody in after it. That's good play. McDonough getting it clear for Limerick. Of course, Shane O'Neill coming forward. Liam Doyle avoiding the challenge, well, almost avoiding the challenge of Mike Houlihan. The referee says that 
wasn't a fair shoulder to shoulder, more shoulder to jaw. Sean McMahon takes this free, and they need everything. He's got a second. But all the Clare scores in this first half have come from freeze. Concern for Jerry Lochnan and Tony Considine as well. Anthony Daly waiting for Frank Lowen to come and help. And the referee says that's a case of too many steps taken by Lowen and it's going to be a free in. Gary Kirby, scorer of a goal and three points. The goal from the penalty. And that's over the bar. A goal and four now for Gary Kirby. And it's 2-8 to four points. Well, the referee has allowed over two and a half minutes of injury time. And it was two goals in the space of 30 seconds for Limerick that provided them with the platform for a healthy lead at halftime. And this is the lead they are enjoying. 2-8 to four points. Up towards Alan Markham, who switched to left half forward. This is Markham. First chance of the second half. A point-scoring chance. Taken well. First point for Alan Markham from Kilmelly. And that's also Clare's first point from play. Shane O'Neill swinging at that one one-handed. Fergal Hegarty instead. A more positive start to the second half being made by the All-Ireland champions. Niall Gilligan. A huge one in. David Ford trying to contain it, breaking it down there! It was a very good chance. And he had Brian Quinn from Tulla right alongside him. This is where David Ford broke it down. He had support, hit it himself. Shane O'Neill in there contesting. That's Fergal Hegarty. Here's Dave Clark. Almost showing too much of that to Alan Markham. And uh, in fact, fouling Markham, the referee decides. Markham is not particularly noted in Clare as a corner forward. He's moved out to the half line at this stage. Here he is, contesting with Dave Clark. And uh, that's where the connection was made, and the referee says it was deliberate. Sean McMahon, two long-range frees successfully converted in the first half. His first chance of the second, and the usual short result from Sean McMahon. And Limerick now see their lead reduced to six points. towards Niall Gilligan. First time tactics paying off. The hand pass across here. Hagerty looking at the target, firing it in, and he fires it between the posts. That's the first for Fergal Hagerty, the man from Kilnamona. And now Limerick's lead is down to very manageable proportions. Five between them. Almost 12 minutes gone in the second half when the referee allowed a good advantage here. The ball played across to Fergal Hagerty. 12 minutes gone. Limerick haven't scored in the second half so far. Towards Christy Chaplin. Fergal Hagerty coming out. Two players after. Make that now three. Still getting it in. Steve McDonough needing Park Carey who seems to be tripped. Play continues. Niall Gilligan. And an excellent shot by Niall Gilligan. That's his second point. Limerick feeling perhaps that their fullback was tripped, but uh, the referee see didn't see any foul. Jerry Lockdown then will be happier with the fight back by his team in this uh, second half. James Moore, nicely fetched, blocked down well by Anthony Daly. Frank Lowen. Mark Foley trying to get it up onto his stick, succeeds. And a high challenge there from Christy Chaplin, the referee just reminding him about uh, what he was at just moments ago. Mike Gallagher taking maximum care over this from the middle of the field. Nicely in and over. That's uh, a great point, a fourth in all of by Mike Gallagher. And Claire goes short to the man who should be marking him, and that's Liam Doyle towards Alan Markham, dispossessed brilliantly however by Dave Clark Frank Lowen with the aid of Sean McMahon getting it forward once again to Markham inside towards Niall Gilligan now popping up around full forward and in spite of that excellent 
excellent blocker, would be blocked by Park Gary. Gilligan has struck it over the bar for his third point. Real intensity in all faces here. This was where Park Gary thought he'd got an absolutely brilliant block on this. He made a connection all right, but the sheer force of Gilligan's shot sent it sailing between the posts. Comes back to Shane O'Neill here, looking for another point for Limerick. Playing it in towards Gary Kirby over the head of Brian Lowen. Fumbling as he was going down that time. Still in trouble back there. And Anthony Daly coming to rescue his side as James Bourne was breathing down his neck. He was fouled. No great love lost on occasions between some of the opponents this afternoon. And that's further illustrated with this little schmuzzle. having the uh, name taken so a heated finish to this uh, this is where one of the players stood on the ball here you'll see number 15 deliberately standing on it Barry Foley and then it got completely out of hand and Barry Foley has correctly also had his name taken now Gilligan was swinging at that one in it comes here Barry Murphy looking for some latitude the referee has and it looks like it's going to be another penalty. Barry Murphy was held going through there. And Clare got a late, late chance. David Fitzgerald striking and he's put it over the bar. After all that long journey, just a point rather than three. have beaten their great old rivals from Clare at the end of full time it's Limerick to 11 Clare 12 points